So Railway Challenge is a competition run by the IMEC-E in which teams compete by building miniature locomotives. Teams from other different universities and different companies come together uh, with, with the trains they've built over the course of a year and compete in a series of track-based uh, and paper-based challenges. We manufacture the whole train ourselves um, and through this we gain so much practical experience which you might not get on a, a regular degree course. For me, I wanted to be involved in an engineering team outside of my degree, just to see what else I could learn outside of lectures and not just the theoretical things. Um, I really wanted to get involved in getting hands-on and just seeing something through from concept through to manufacturing and actually seeing something work. Uh, the big thing with the Sheffield team is it's completely extracurricular. Uh, there is no marks for this, no one's getting paid to do it, it's all done for fun and for the interest of the, of the subject. So RCAS has offered me uh, many skills which have helped directly to get a job essentially. So pre presenting skills, um, teamwork skills that you might need to apply at assessment centres and just generally something to talk about um, with any prospective employees, they're usually quite interested. You learn a lot of confidence in, in like presenting your work to other people, in like pitching your ideas, looking into like finding the the funding for it and looking at sponsors and things like that, you learn a lot of skills that you otherwise wouldn't get on your course, um, especially in terms of looking at like the report writing because we have to submit it to the Institute of Mechanical Engineers, we have to sort of write it to such a high standard that we are competing with like graduate engineers and so it really does pull your pull all your other skills up and sort of in line with what other people are doing professionally. Competition is the, the, the best part of the year. Uh, you get to take something you've worked on and you've put blood, sweat and tears in for an entire year. Uh, and you get to take it and actually see how you've done, really. Um, so you, you do occasionally go and you end up sitting in a field with a half a ton of something that won't move and you have to sit there overnight um, tinkering around with it and getting it work. But then when you actually make it work and it works well and you place well in the competition, it's just a really satisfying culmination to a whole year's worth of work. And it's made sweeter by the fact you've done it as part of a team. It does add a lot of pressure knowing that in any other scenario, if it doesn't work, you can write a good report about it and still get most of the marks. Whereas if you show up to a railway challenge competition and it doesn't work, well, that's just it. And there's something satisfying about that when it does work. Competition is just a great weekend that we get to test our train, sort of see the fruits of our labour, um, really, really put the train to its limits. And that is, I think, one thing in our cast. You know, you don't know where the problem is going to come from. It will just show up and uh, you have to find a way of you know, figuring it out, solving it, and I think that is one thing that would be very useful, especially with what I want to do. In terms of careers, the team also has a lot of relationships with corporate sponsors, and there are a lot of uh, companies, railway and otherwise, that are showing up to the competition events, so that's a really great opportunity to network and make contacts in industry as well. Join a student-led activity, you will definitely not regret it. It's one of the best things you can do, you'll learn so much, and you'll always make um, great friends and great memories.